Motul is known for its prerogative in the motorcycle space. I personally have been a customer who has experienced quite a bit of their motorcycle range across different machines. In the passenger car segment, I did use their transmission oil and have shared the lap test results as well. Coming to their passenger car engine oils, long back my mechanic had filled their entry level 4100 power 5W30 in my car, which didn't exactly meet my expectations as I mostly run my machines on synthetic engine oils. Off late, I got quite a few feedback and suggestions on using the Motul Ecotech Plus engine oil. A colleague has been using it in his Nexon Petrol and is satisfied with the performance. And recently, a friend went for his second round of Motul Ecotech Plus in his Baleno Petrol and there isn't another case with the Wagon R. In this video, I'm going to compile all of these observations along with the numbers to build a strong user review on the Motul Ecotech Plus 5W30. The Ecotech Plus is a synthetic engine oil and we have used it in the 5W30 grid. The 1 litre Wagon R and the 1.2K series Bellino have shown really good cold start results, especially when the Wagon R was taken to Delhi through Rajasthan in peak winters. The Ecotech Plus is a ACEA A5B5 engine oil. Now, usually, most A5B5 engine oils have got their kinematic viscosity at the lower end. My past experience with some of these low viscosity oils have been noisy. But Motul has smartly formulated the viscosity for the Ecotech at 11.55 mm2 per second at 100 degrees Celsius, which is significantly higher than what now Castrol offers in its new Magnetic 5W30, which is now at 9.8 mm2 per second at 100 degrees Celsius. Similar is the case with the kinematic viscosity at 40 degrees Celsius, where the Ecotech 5W30 is at 67.66 mm2 per second, while the magnetic 5W30 is at 57 mm2 per second. The magnetic video is already live on the channel. I will leave the video link in the description. The Bellino is a daily driver for my friend, which drives through a lot of traffic, where he says the engine runs smoothly with the Ecotech Plus, even in continuous heavy traffic. According to him, the fuel efficiency numbers could have been better with the current range of 13 to 14 km per litre in mixed driving conditions. However, the Wagon R delivered a good 17 km per litre even when pushed hard with consistent triple digit speeds. The engine oil tries to retain its performance even at high RPMs. This has also been confirmed by the Nexon user who drives a turbo petrol Nexon. In case of the Nexon, about 200 ml of top-up was required after doing 6000 km of driving. This is something which I am mentioning off the observation list. Long-term use also brings me to the TBN, where Motul has been generous with the Ecotech that gets the total base number of 10.40, which is way higher than what the competition offers. While we are at the competition, we can see most engine oils in this segment have already moved to the latest API SP standards, while Motul is still at the API SN with the Ecotech Plus. Hopefully, we will get to see an update soon while we continue our test with another Motul, the XTech Plus. If you are using one of these oils, let me know your experience in the comment section. So that's it for this video, and I hope you guys have liked it.